face of the data deluge, enterprises and consumers alike are looking for the most cost-effective ways to store their data. Currently, the primary media are hard disk drives, HDD, and solid state drives, SSD. But before we start to analyze the pros and cons, it's important to put the storage market in perspective. Which brings me to our two storage experts who will be putting the record straight on SSDs and HDDs. Here we have Nick Spittle, General Manager of Product Management for HDDs, and Paul Rowan, General Manager of SSDs from Toshiba Electronics Europe. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me today for what I hope will be a very enlightening discussion on the future of storage. Now, the volume of HDD production worldwide is massive to meet the increasing demand for a low cost per gigabyte, whereas SSD production has remained relatively low. In the past, SSD technology has been restricted to applications which were physically demanding and could be subjected to levels of shock and vibration which would otherwise destroy or render a normal spindle-based disk drive inoperable. But we're now seeing an increase in demand for NAND-based SSDs. Well, why are we seeing this demand? Basically, this is down to the realization that NAND can be used to complement and improve, and in some instances, replace traditional hard disk drive in meeting the ever-increasing demand for performance. Yet, this always comes at a cost, and there will be applications which cannot just justify that investment. But NAND is becoming a technically viable alternative to hard disk drives, focused on overcoming hard disk drives' mechanical-based design limitations. Nick. What's the difference between HDDs and SSDs? Well, Stephen, an HDD combines a rotating magnetic media with read-write heads held in position just above the surface by an arm with a positioning mechanism. Data is written and read by generating or sensing a magnetic field, and the data is held and accessed within a sector, track, or cylinder construction. They have continued to grow in sophistication and performance while form factors continue to shrink, enabling ever smaller, more powerful and more portable devices. While an SSD has no moving parts, the data is stored in NAND flash memory. The two main technologies currently used in NAND chip design are single-level cell SLC and multi-level cell MLC. Overall control of the SSD is provided by an SOC, a system on chip, which combines processor, flash controller interface, and buffer management functions. Due to its lack of moving parts, SSDs are better able to withstand shock, vibration, and temperature variation. Today's SSDs offer some compelling advantages over HDDs in that they are suited to some diverse applications. However, we are still seeing developments in technology to combat the saturation of bit aerial density. HDDs continue to offer price and performance characteristics that make them favourable for many other applications. Right, therefore the major mechanical differences are that HDD reads and writes on media, whereas the SSD has no moving parts. SSDs are able to better withstand shock, vibration and temperature variation, but HDD's price per gigabyte is much more attractive. Nick, which drive delivers better performance? It will be like comparing apples of oranges. Um, both drives offer unique benefits. Principally, these differences rest with SSD offering advantages for devices that require smaller volumes of data to be accessed rapidly while on the move, whereas HDDs offer greater performance characteristics for more intensive application, not to mention the cost advantage. Capacity remains a significant advantage for hard disk drives. SSDs can currently only look endlessly at the greater capacities offered by hard disk drives. Although SSD capacity is set to increase dramatically as the technology continues to evolve. However, HDD performance is reliant on the mechanical elements which form the essential components of the storage technology. The process of reading and writing is fundamentally constrained by the operational speed and accuracy of electromechanical components and positioning control. While the SSD has no moving mechanical elements, so it immediately freed up from these restrictions, the physical data flow rate or input output per second based on the accelerated access environment is one of the major selling, selling points of this technology. How do the drives compare on price? HDD storage is down to cents in terms of cost per gigabyte. But there are two mechanisms at work which will potentially lead to a ratio of price premiums for SSDs. 
Firstly, the increase in market demand, which ultimately transfers to higher production volume and therefore lower production costs. The second is the technology itself and the advantages in squeezing more and more storage capacity into a smaller, smaller and smaller real estate. A move from 32 nanometers and 24 nanometers and now to 19 nanometer NAND fabrication process lowers the cost, enables higher densities, boosts performance and gives rise to smaller packages. I agree that cost is the primary factor where HGD wins over SSD cost per gigabyte. Nevertheless, SSDs are becoming more affordable and have higher density. When one asks the question HDD or SSD, am I right to say that workload, endurance, capacity and performance are all the essential factors which must be analysed before adopting the most appropriate technology? Uh, workload, especially in enterprise sector, can be extreme and involve high volume of transactional data storage, which could be weighed towards write operations over read. For SSDs, the frequency of this data change predicts the life of the device in the field. Cells have a finite life expectancy and the array's write process erodes that life over time. However, solid state drives represent a high performance storage solution with fast random access, read capability, no head position and the offer of fast boot and application launch times. Combine this with hard drives, high storage capacity and a tiered storage model begins to picture technology choice which befits enterprise storage for both business critical data and large media, media files. HEDs provide the base with high capacity data storage and SSDs sit on the top providing the fastest access to mission critical data. For consumer devices with the option of utilising either technology, careful consideration should be exercised. SSDs can deliver a faster startup process for electronic devices with safer data access whilst on the move. But HDDs can offer a higher capacity at a lower cost per gigabyte. When looking at portable devices, energy consumption and operating modes are an essential focus. At the moment, HDDs are dominating this market, but for those ultra portable devices, SSDs are positioning to step in once price becomes more attractive. Currently, both HDDs and SDDs leverage their component technology into a 7mm Z height to meet the same capacity point. A potential SSD's technology is more flexible. So in conclusion, given their technological capabilities, HDDs and SSDs will continue to coexist in the data storage market for years to come. Both have advantages in their designs that make them better suited to certain applications determined by the cost, performance, reliability and portability characteristics in each case. Gentlemen, thanks for your time today. Thank you.